Question number four states that the diagram shows two triangles. A. Calculate QR. QR exists in the lower triangle. Oh, we have side angle side. SAS. Of course, we will apply cosine rule. So we can say that QR squared is equal to 120 squared plus 150 squared. Minus 2 multiplied by 120 multiplied by 150 times cosine 25. And the answer will be 65.4 uh, after approximating to three significant figures. Okay? 65.4. It's a very easy question. Okay, what about B? Calculate RS. RS exists in the upper triangle. And we can apply sine rule, of course. We can say RS divided by sine 55. RS divided by sine 55 is equal to 150 divided by sine this angle. What is the measure? The measure of this angle, of course, it will be 118 minus 55 plus 45. 55 plus 45 is if we give this 500 it will be 80 so we can say 150 divided by sine 80 one 150 divided by sine 80 and then you can get rs easily by multiplying 150 times sine 55 divided by sine 80 and the answer will be rs will be 124.768 and so on after approximating to three significant figures to be 125 okay c calculate the total area of the two triangles okay for the lower one we can apply uh, one half times 120 times 150 times sine 25 and for the upper one we can say half 150 times rs times sine 45 okay don't forget please if you have sas sas s side angle side you can apply cosine rule to get the opposite side of the given angle and you can get the area okay okay take care that we prefer to put rs with the exact value not the approximated one okay and the final answer will be 10,400 square meter after approximating to three significant figures. Question five, the diagram shows a field A, B, C, D. The bearing of B from A, standing at A and look at B, it will take 140 degrees. C is due to east of B, as we shown here, and D is due north to uh, of C. We have AB 400 meter, BC 350, CD 450. Okay, find the bearing of D from B. To answer this question, we must indicate where is the angle that should we calculate, right? Since the question said from B, so we should stand at B and draw the north here. Okay, draw the north at B and then. like this and this is n the north and also we join b with d right so this is the required angle okay let let uh, we call it theta okay theta is the same as this angle because they are alternate angles okay very good and this angle exists in a right angle triangle so will be very easy to write theta equal 10 inverse opposite divided by adjacent which is 350 opposite to theta divided by the adjacent which is 450 and the answer would be after approximation uh, 300 uh, sorry 37 point line okay we must write the bearing as three significant right D calculate the distance from D to A we can find this distance using two methods okay 
the first method will use the triangle A, B, D. Okay, A, B, D. We know the, the length of this side, 100 meter, and we can get the length of BD easily by using this right angle triangle and using the theorem, right? And we should know this angle to apply SAS, SAS, cosine rule. Okay, this angle is theta, we just calculated it. And this angle is what? Of course, it's 40. Why 40? Because these uh, these two angles are co-anterior in the same side, letter U. Okay, so their sum should be 180. Very good. Let us apply this. So, in triangle ABD, I will get first BD squared to be 350 squared plus. 450 squared. Okay. okay. Next, we will apply cosine rule. 400 squared plus BD squared minus 2 from times 400 times BD times cosine 40 plus theta. Okay. AD squared is equal to 400 squared plus BD squared minus 2 times 400 times BD times cosine theta plus 40 okay then taking the square root to get ad and the final answer will be 624 after approximating to three significant figures what about the second method the second method depends on this triangle a d and you can call this point e this angle is right angle triangle at E. So at E function, okay? But we neither know A, E, nor E, D. Okay, how we can get them? We will use this 400 meter, okay? We will close this triangle and try to get the opposite and the adjacent as follows. Well. Okay, this angle is 50 because this is 40 and this is 50. In this triangle, we know the hypotenuse, hypotenuse which is 400, and we know this angle. So we can get this side very easily by what? By multiplying 400 times cosine 50. 400 cosine 50. And this will be 400 sine 50. Okay. Of course, if we know this and this, then DE would be 450 minus 400 sine 50. And also AE, AE would be BC plus this length, which is 400 sine 50. And by this way, we will know the two sides of the right angle and we can get AD very easy. Okay, so again, AD all square would be DE squared, which is 450 minus 400 sine 50 all squared, plus AE squared, which is 350 plus 400 sine 50 all squared. Okay, let us apply. Okay, and then we can take the root also to get. The value of 18 and after approximating to three significant figures the answer will be also 624 okay see Jono runs around the field from a to b b to c c to d and d to a so he returned back to a again okay he runs at a speed of three meter per second calculate the total time Jono takes to run around the field give your answer in minutes and seconds correct to the nearest second. Okay. Of course, to get the time, we need to divide the distance over the speed, right? This the distance from A to B is given 100, and here 350, and here 450, and we just calculated AD. So we'll add all of them and divide the sum by three. 450 plus 350 plus 400, 1,200, and then 
we can write here the total uh, the time will be 1200 plus 624 which is 18 divided by the speed which is 3 and the answer will be 608 seconds the required is to, to get the time in minutes and seconds so we will divide it by 60 to be 10 and 2 over 15 we should uh, we should uh, convert the denominator to 60 so I multiply both numerator and denominator by 4 to be 16 and here 8 so we have 10 minutes sorry, 10 minutes and what and um, 8 seconds right and of course you can use the shift button comma button in the calculator right 